Zebra with Tell Me What You Want. It's a CBT guitar lesson. For Firehouse Timothy. There you go. This song's great. It's classic. It's epic. And thanks to Timmy. I just, you know, it's like seeing a picture you haven't seen in 30 years. If it's a good picture, right? This song's great. Now, I had a little interesting uh, thing happen. I started it thinking it was in standard. And I usually... Tim, I'll pull up a live video and see how they play it in concert, but that doesn't always work. You still always have to be listening and seeing what they're doing because um, it's different how he plays it. I mean, even on the... It's drop D tuning is what we're, we're going to be in here. But, for example, live he goes, if I can remember this, it's like... Um, but... And there is two guitars in the studio version. The electric is um, kind of pushed back later in the song, but I was still able to, to make this work really good for you. But um, what you want to do, this is played on an acoustic. We're going to use clean. And do, we're going to do this. It's uh, A minor, fifth position. So 7D, barred first fret on the G, B, and E string. Go down, down. Then add your pinky to 8 on the high E and do that as an upstroke. Then, you've played this chord before. It's like a Jimmy Page chord. Bar the 7th fret, last 3 strings, or 4 is more comfortable. Go 9D and 8B. Then you have this. Okay, and that's going to be um, up, up, down. So we have right back to the A minor with the 8 high E in it, another up, and then move your pinky and just add your middle to 6 on the B. And you're going to go up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down. Sounds like this. It'll be... Or actually, it'll end with. Oops. Dang it, I'm missing it. To a G. Um, so, your chord outline, let's do it. It's. Like live, that G is played here. Or, you know. Um, you can just see where his hand's going. So, um, we're up to here. We have... You go, um... Hold on. Yeah. Down. And then up, down on the G chord. So the G, think of an F major, you know that chord, move it up a whole step sharp, 3rd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, that'll just be a up down, then uh, we keep going, it's like starting over, and then we move up here, up, up, down, back to this with the 8E, and then way up here. Okay? Live, he's doing like... It's a D major, but it's uh, up here on studio. It's the page chord. Uh, bar 14, last four strings is the most comfortable, and we need 16D and 15B. When you get there, go up, up, down, up, down, up. last down is the open D, G, and B. Not hard like I hit it. It's just a transition uh, thing that he's doing. Okay, and then that's your whole loop. Um, 
So check this out. Stepped on my cord. All right. Oh, down up, and then your high one. Okay, which is our main part, right? So that goes, that goes, um. Two times and then section 1B 31 seconds in. Um, this is one of the main guitars, the louder one actually. And this is what I entered the lesson with. Seventh fret on the low E. Most of this is low E. Once, short rest, twice to second fret. And then uh, open A. Might help to use your third or fourth finger there. But then the fifth fret. Now you'll start seeing the beat. Short rest, and then one, two, open five, four, rest, one, two, open four, three, 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 slide five. Slide to five, and then pick the five. And that is played two times. So we have. Shoot again. Okay, then a series of repeats at 46 seconds in, section 1A two times, which was the clean part we started with, right? But now, and it's in the background, I wish they would have upped it, but they got synthesizer in here. He's using distortion on all this. It's not like full gain distortion, but it's, it's over the... Uh... You'll hear it fuzzy in there, which is interesting. I didn't know that until I figured out this song. Anyways, you go through that, and then you hit section 1B two times, second time, no star. Well, the star is just the final note after the slide. It'll be... You don't pick that after the slide. Instead, it'll be an open E. And then three times open, five times, fifth fret, three times open, and then an open E, and go... Then the solo comes in at minute 32. He's got some overdubs in here as well. Uh, Jimmy Page unison bends, 5B, 7G. We're gonna bend, hit them both, bend the G a whole step, do it three times, vibrato the last one. Sounds like this. Move it up to eight and 10, bend the, the 10th fret. 10, 12. Okay, so three times. Once, once. Then. And that'll be on the B, 10, 12, 12 bend. Half step. Don't release it as far as audibly. Go. Stop it with the pick and then go 12, 10. 13 whole step bend. And then 13, 12. So it's again. So you'll go 10 B, 12 G. Hit them both. Bend the G whole step. Same thing. A whole step back. 8, 10. But check it out. You'll you'll bend. Stop the note and then do it again. But strum three times. Uh, top of page three, go nine, eight, open. This is real interesting on the last three strings. It'll go. So, three strums slide to sevens. So, interesting because they have to end up in the same fret, right? 
And then once you're there, strum the last three strings twice, slide to five. Strum three times, slide to four, three. Oops. Once you're there, strum three times. Slide to two, one, and then strum two times. So it's like, you'll end up going. Wait, I lost it. Nine, seven, fives. We have. And then seven, five, D, G, three times. And then on the G and B string, go four, three, to five, five, to four, three. Or however you want to do that. Once you hit that, um, you'll go again. Then you go. 9-7 DG. And then go 5-5 five, five, GB, 7-6, 5, five, five. And just bar that. Back to fives. So we have. So. Again. And then again, slide to 7-7. Seven, seven. Then go 9-8. Back to seven seven, hit it again, and then sevens, fives, and four three. So check it out. We have Okay, that's a little slower than they're doing it. Um it could have been separate guitar tracks, single notes, but I like how he connected them. If you watch them live, that's how he's doing that. All right, from there, um, you're going to go on the high E, 8, 8, 8, 10, 12, 10. That final 10 needs to be the index. It'll be 10, 10, and then 10, 12, 13. Index 12 E. Again, 12, 13, 15. So the beat is da 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 right so we have then he finishes the solo with 17 15 14 on the E five times and um alternate pick okay so you have to go through six notes until you're back to down uh, to, to the uh, the way I look at it. Down, up, down, up, down, up. See, that's the cycle. And it ends with the down. And that's it for the solo. And then section 1C, 202 timestamp. Real straightforward, Tim. Um, 16 times of the third fret. Okay, and then 16 times of the open E and A. It sounds like this. And then back to the third fret. Again. It's going to be three times. So. Series of repeats at 2.30. Um, and then section 1B five times. <clears throat> and then it's this. All right.
Okay, so we have. You'll go as if you're starting it over. Seventh fret on the low E, short rest, two times after that. Just play the. Uh, play along like you're starting it over. Fifth fret. So when you get to the fifth fret, it's where we start to change up on the end. Five, 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 zero, five, zero. Let that open, open E ring. And then we're going to do a D major three times, a G major three times, a D major one time. Two, three, two, open. With an open D. You'll go. Open, open, three, three. Last four strings. Three times. And back to the D chord one time. Just let it ring. So it's... So let me play it in context. Four. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> <laughs>